This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by MyHouseCleaningBiz.com, the online community for residential cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. A member of MyHouseCleaningBiz.com contacted us with the following question about how to respond to a prospect that said, wow, that price is high. Here's her question. We did a home walkthrough this week with a potential residential client. As we walk through the home, we explain that we take everything off the countertops and dressers and we clean under and behind things. So basically, a top to bottom cleaning every visit. When we gave her our price, her response was, wow, that price is high. She even asked me how we came up with those figures. What would you have said? Well, it can certainly be pretty frustrating when all someone wants to talk about is the price, missing the whole point about detailed cleaning and the security of their home. Here are a few tips that might help you in the future and save you some time and aggravation. Number one, before taking the time to visit in person, pre-qualify the prospect by phone. Let them know that your minimum startup pricing, such as your first time cleanings, start at $150 or whatever your price is, and then go up from there depending on the condition and needs of your home. This could save you from that person that thinks cleaning should only be about $60 or so. Number two, when you do visit the home to do a walkthrough, be sure to talk about all the things you will do for them as part of your presentation. And do this before you give your price. Be specific, such as, we clean the ceiling fan blades each visit, we sanitize the touch points throughout the home, and so on. When you do this, you are continually laying the groundwork for what's so valuable about hiring you over those cheaper services. Number three, Offer prospects options so they don't have just one price to choose from. For example, offer a deep cleaning or a top to bottom cleaning for a premium price. And let them know what's included with each package. So for example, we hand wipe the baseboards with the top to bottom cleaning, but not with the general cleaning option. And if you feel strongly that they really need the deep cleaning option, try to press them to sign up for it. Otherwise, they probably won't be satisfied with a general cleaning to start. Now, if they won't go for it, then offer the general cleaning. Just be sure you make it very clear which tasks you won't have time for if they choose the lesser option. Otherwise, it may come back to you as a complaint. Let them pick whatever option fits their budget, but only if you know you can address their needs. Never price your services too low just to get their business and then not leave yourself enough time to do a good job. If they still say you're too expensive, I would tell them that you stand behind the quality of the service you provide and you have impeccable references from satisfied customers. And if you have extensive employee screening systems in place, give them the facts and reassurance that their home is secure with your staff. In other words, stay away from defending your prices and don't haggle with them. It's your business and you must have the confidence that you are worth every penny you're charging. Okay, now it's your turn. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this topic. Please post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you're looking for additional help with starting or growing your residential cleaning business, MyHouseCleaningBiz.com is the place for people who are pursuing their dreams of owning a successful cleaning business. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at CleaningBiz.tv. See you next time.